Hey guys, this is Mark, and uh, today I want to give you a quick walk through my uh, through my small balcony garden here. And first thing when we when you walk out on the right hand side, there's I have this small table here, and I usually just keep my herbs over here, or you know just any type of plants that I kind of try to uh, keep away from uh, the sand. Uh, like you guys see here, I got some seeds growing, and this is actually basil. And here I have thyme growing, which is very young thyme. It's gonna take some time. Uh, we have a rosemary, uh, we have, you know, my wife's little plant that she got for, I believe, Mother's Day last year. And here what I have is avocado seeds. And uh, for those who, you know, ever did any type of research are aware of, uh, you know, growing tr uh, avocado trees, and these are Haas avocados uh, from the seeds, it's a very difficult process since, you know, when you plant a tree it takes between seven and even 15 years before your tree will be able to have fruit so it's just definitely not worth it it's you know you were better off just going to the you know a big store and uh you know just get maybe a dwarf uh avocado tree or even regular tree if you have enough space in your garden but here what i'm doing is basically i'm growing these for uh its root system so <clears throat> so once the root system develops I'm gonna put in the ground and just keep growing and you know later on I can take some branches I'm planning to buy some dwarf trees to put in to squeeze in, in my balcony here and I'll be able to take some branches and kind of you know craft them into the system so you know in a year and a half maybe when I buy a property um, I'll be able to you know use those trees um, you know for my garden and at the same time I won't have to have wait seven years even more uh, to have avocados so you know this is just a little fun experiment a lot of we just like to grow things for those who've been you know started gardening and been gardening for a while it's just you know pretty cool to kind of do those experiments it's, even if you have kids it's it's just very educational here uh, so next guys here on the bottom and here I have a little experiment this is just a coca core 80% uh, coca core 20% warm castings um, and I do have some bark I don't know what exactly was the percentage but uh, maybe it's maybe even 60 30 and 10 of the bark and and the, this what I have here is cilantro seeds and so I want to see how it does and the same type of mixture here guys I have in those uh, cayenne peppers and those cayenne peppers have been doing very good I have one over here and I have one on this side you know just in case one dies I want to make sure it's not a seeding problem it's actual you know just maybe something wrong with the soil and here in my rest of my pots I have regular uh, black gold potting mix um, so this is what I have here next one guys here what I have is uh, this is actually a mango tree and and the same thing guys I bit you know this is from the seed I planted this maybe last year I can't exactly remember I can probably look up in the video and look up the exact date uh, for those who are interested knowing exact date uh, but what I did recently actually last week I just topped it okay it was just keep growing um, you know taller and taller and what I want to do actually I want to branch out a little bit and when I make this cut right here you can actually see you know just like with the tomatoes we're familiar with the suckers that's what we have we have new branches coming in coming out out of those uh, out of those areas in between the leaves uh, so it's pretty cool actually um, you know, once you once you top the, any type of plant, it basically encourages the plant and creates necessary hormones to create more branches and even start flowering in some cases like some, you know, avocado girl, 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 uh, growers and mango girl, growers, uh, they often, you know, uh, cut their tree, not cut the tree, but trim it uh, just to encourage a new growth of new branches and, you know, bushes. If you don't want your tree to be too bushy, you want them, you, you know, you're more interested in the bush style kind of thing. Uh, you know, you can definitely just use this technique and that's gonna, you know, allow you to have more branches on around the tree. Uh, so next one, guys, and let me just go here, guys. I wanna show you what I purchased last week. And this is a mason jar in combination with those, you know, you can see those little lights inside. And this is a solar panel here. There's a battery inside. And when we, well, let me see if I can show you here. Yeah, there you go, they light up. So when it gets dark, they actually light up and I purchased six of them here and I put them in. Um, one thing guys, if you decide and purchase, I can, you know, if, for those interested, I can leave a link on the description, but you can easily look it up. Uh, so one thing, the six of those lights were 20, around $20. You can find them cheaper. Just do your research, look at the reviews. There's some different brands, different types and the jars, you know, 
uh, at Target I paid uh, $10 for 12 of them so these were separate you can buy them together but a little bit more expensive and I actually need, needed those uh, so I'm happy you know I use six of jars for the lights and six I have them for different purposes so that's pretty cool kind of lights up you know your balcony at night and it's just you know kind of nice atmosphere to come have a beer and just you know enjoy your tea or something like that meditate in the morning which I do uh, guys next thing uh, we already explained the soil. This is the same mixture as here coco core just the warm castings and the bark And this is cayenne pepper and this is probably around two week old cayenne pepper. Uh, so I got it going. I put this little uh, I have him stick from sushi uh, from eating sushi actually uh, Those sushi sticks. I like him. That's a great idea actually if you're you know trying to support a new type of plant or anything like that you know I just you know usually get them for free in the store when you purchase sushi so I get those and I just you know recycle them and put them in like plants uh, next thing guys um, next thing guys we have uh, tomato plants I pretty much planted this all of them from the seed I, I can't remember exactly what, what is the type um, but this one's doing much better and the thing the reason is this one's doing much better guys I believe so because this one had a mix, mixture of the soil from the last year which I believe had more more fertilizer so good idea guys if you're planting your something I learned uh, if you're just planting uh, your your vegetables it's a good idea to kind of add your fertilizer to your any type of you know planting mix or anything like this and let it sit for a little bit let it let it be able to uh, de degrade uh, so it's available to the plants much quicker okay and I also add once a week I use uh, so once a month I fertilizer with uh, dry fertilizers for releasing organic down the earth all-purpose 444 and then every week every time it rains actually you know I live on the balcony I don't want the smell to you know go to the neighbors downstairs I live on the top floor so I only add uh, fish uh, fertilizer liquid one only when it rains so actually like, everything can wash off and the smoke can just go go uh, smell can just go away all right, let's move on guys. Uh, next one, we have a mayor lemon tree. For those who watched the video, I had a huge disaster infestation of the ants inside the plastic pot. Also, my root system was just destroyed by, because the plastic guys, one thing if you live in the warm areas or you ex expose your plants, especially citrus tree, which we know love the sun, if you expose them to the sun often, make sure you buy a nice clay pot, okay? I can't just tell you, look at this new growth. I kind of created a video of the progress, which I'm gonna post in a few weeks once it grows even more. Uh, but I replanted this maybe last week and right away from the get-go, you know, I started seeing a new growth on almost every single branch, okay? This is actually a new stem that came out in a matter of a week. Um, so definitely, definitely use your, your pretty much your root system is gonna be cooked, okay? If you get moisture and heat, it's gonna get cooked and you're really gonna regret it, okay? So please, please, great investment and let you get yourself a clay pot. Next thing, the same thing, guys, I got some tomatoes. This is only one that is the bigger one. This is a brandy wine, I believe. Uh, this is the same as the previous one. This is the pepper. Uh, this is I cut the avocado. I'm sorry pineapple last year and I planted in the just you know uh, a pot a plastic pot of some old dirt and actually war guys it, it just grew I'm gonna zoom out a little bit here. It's just grew crazy uh, But it takes 18 months to get a fruit So it's definitely not a worth it if you're growing for the fruit, but if you're just doing for the fun or you know, uh, if you just want a you know nice plant, if you live in the south like myself in Miami here, it very 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 fun uh, plant to grow. Uh, here I have my Christmas plant. I cut the, all the red leaves. I, I forgot the name of it, but I cut all the red leaves and I planted here at some fertilizer, and it's doing amazing. So we won't have to purchase this plant uh, for the next Christmas. I got my little shelf here. I got a Costco. I keep all my supplies. Some water here. I got some extra dirt. My supplies. And here I got my aloe uh, for some of you guys who seen it there was a huge one in the middle and I had those three new plants coming out and I just cut the old one off here I got some uh, this actually cayenne pepper seeds still not coming out and here what I have is oregano and I have some cilantro which I'm also testing the same type of soil of coco core warm casting okay uh, so that's it guys, this is my small balcony. I'm gonna keep you updated on the progress. Uh, if you like, please subscribe, ask any questions. I'll try to you know, share my different type of ideas and lessons learned from my own growing and mistakes that I have made in the past. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.